Hey guys, good morning. I am Tammy with Decorating Addictions, and what we're going to do today is start putting our spring and Easter out. And I think I'm gonna start over there on the mantle, and I'm gonna get all that stuff down, and then uh, kinda figure out what I wanna put up there. I haven't put much thought. Um, I got my husband to pull all of my Easter down out of the closet this morning, so it's scattered all over my bed right now. Uh, because I don't know what exactly I want to put up there. I have made a picture that I'm going to put up there and I will show y'all what it looks like. Um, and then we'll just kind of go from there and put some bunnies up there and see what, what it looks like. And we'll just go from there. Um, I'll catch you up on what's going on in my little world. Tuesday, uh, my son, the one that's the band director, we are on spring break around here this week. So the one that is a band director um, eloped on Tuesday night. And um, him and his fiance went to Las Vegas and they stopped and did some sightseeing on the way. They went to the Grand Canyon uh, Monday. And uh, then they went to Vegas Tuesday and Tuesday night about 10:30, he called and said that they had been married now we knew we already knew he was going to do this because they had been dating for so long and him and his fiance couldn't figure out exactly what route they wanted to take on getting married and they decided they wanted to elope and go to vegas and they did the the drive through get married thing there so um he went to the hell's kitchen and ate while he was up there he he said it was really really good he said but it was expensive for the both of them he said it was like 140 dollars so uh that's kind of steep for eating but i mean that's a one-time thing that he'll probably never do again and he loves the vacation he loves going places so them two eloping and getting to sightsee and stuff i mean that's just right down his alley so um, I wish him the best, and I hope they have a long, happy, fun-loving marriage. Uh, me and my daughter went shopping yesterday. That was what she wanted to do on spring break was have a, a mother-daughter day out and get some summer clothes. And so that's what we did yesterday. We spent all day in town. Um, I pulled her into Hobby Lobby for a little while and she ended up pushing me back out before it was over with. That is not her cup of tea to be in Hobby Lobby for any amount of time. So when I go to Hobby Lobby, I usually have to go by myself because nobody else wants to stay in there as long as I do. But I was in there looking for the Southwest native Indian stuff and I got a couple of things. Um, but I'll wait until I get it more decorated before we do another tour in there. Um, thank y'all for all of your suggestions. Y'all have really good ideas, and I'm glad I asked y'all. Um, I did buy me a little dream catcher yesterday at Hobby Lobby, and it was so cute, and I'll show you later. Um, I was kind of wanting a bigger one, but I didn't see one that I really cared for. Um, what else is going on? I think that's it. My oldest son has asked me to decorate his house again. And when he gets his income tax, he's wanting to give me an allowance to go and buy stuff for their house. You know, I've already, since they moved in, I decorated it a little bit and got them started. And now they want to do a round two and get some more things. Um to put in their house. So I'm excited to do that. And whenever I do that, well then I will bring y'all with me and we will do a tour and kind of show you what I'm doing in their house. So that'll be fun. He said he was gonna give me a thousand dollars to buy whatever he, you know, whatever's needed for their house. So I need to go over there, kind of look and see kind of get in their heads to see what they want. And um, he said he still wants to go with the, um, they kind of do a Western theme in there. So he said he still wants to kind of go that way unless he's changed his mind. Um, 
So that'll be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, I finished my antibiotics. Um, I am back to normal again, but as normal as normal could be. Uh, my brother-in-law is, um, I think I told y'all, he's out of ICU and he is in a room now. They are giving him until the 25th of March and then his time runs out at the hospital. They don't think he'll be ready for rehab because he is not staying awake long enough during the day to be able to go to rehab. Um, so they are going to end up having to take him home and my sister-in-law is going to have to take care of him at home for a little while until he is able to go to rehab. Um, it's going to be such a long journey and we're all going to have to chip in and, and help because she has Parkinson's and he's been taking care of her for, you know, for a while. And now um, the role has been reversed and she's got some medication that is helping her and her shaking with the Parkinson's have went away. So um, she hasn't been able to drive. He's been having to take her everywhere, but now she has healed enough she's able to drive so now the roles have been reversed and she's going to have to take care of him but you know she's still not 100 percent herself so we are all going to have to chip in her family she's got three kids and a ton of grandkids so they've got plenty of help but continued prayers for my brother-in-law they've got a trach in and I think they're going to do something with the trach where he'll be able to start trying to talk. He's nodding his head and he's wanting to talk, but he just can't right now. So they're going to try to do that. Take him off of the ventilator a little bit longer during the day. Um, so hopefully he'll start coming around. And by the 25th, you know, um, if God willing... Maybe he can go on to rehab. So, I mean, we still got a couple of weeks to figure that out. But um, enough of my talking. I'm going to get over here and get everything off of this mantle. And then um, I will bring you back and we will start decorating. So hold on just a minute. Okay, guys, I am in the living room and we are fixing to do the mantle. Um, yesterday I had to cut it short so I could get to work. So... This is the next day, it's actually Thursday, and um, we are fixing to get busy. So, if you'll see above me, I told you I had done a picture, and I've already put it up there, and it says, nobody, no bunny loves you like Jesus. And I made that picture, me and my husband cut the boards out and did the frame on it, and I did it with the Cricut. So, um, it is really huge if you can tell <laughs> but I've already put the garland up here just because it was so hard to do it kept falling off and I cut little pieces um, let me see if I can get them out I got a bundle of these little uh, dewberry things and I cut them all into little tiny pieces that way they didn't weigh very much and just stuck them in my garland that garland is from Hobby Lobby, and it was regular $19.99, and I got it when it was 50% off, so I got it for $10, bucks. and I just went and I stuck these all through there. That way, it just had these little berries sticking out. Uh, so if you have some garland and you want some flowers on it or something, I suggest cutting them off in little tiny pieces. That way it's not so heavy and it's not weighing your garland down where it falls off. I've got some little command strips under there, but the weight of the whole bundles of the flowers that I was trying to put on there, it just kept flipping it, flipping it off into the floor. So um, I kept the black uh, arch arches or whatever you want to call that. I kept those up there because it looked good with the black picture. And what I, I have went through all of my Easter stuff. I've pulled it all in here into the dining room so I could dig through it and see what I wanted. And so what I have come up with is sitting right here and I'm gonna show you before I put it up there. 
I got this at Kirkland's. Um, I don't, I've already cut the tag off of it. I don't remember how much it was, but I thought it was really cute. Um, I figured this turquoise that's on here would go with that cross. It's got the turquoise. So I picked this to go up there. Um, I've got some bundles of carrots I'm going to put up there. If you remember, I got these smaller little rings or the wreaths, whatever you want to call these. I got these at Joann's and they were $12.99 buy one get one half off when I bought them. So I'm going to use two of these. I got a couple of these I had bought at Hobby Lobby. They were regular $9.99 and I got them for half off. I've had them, uh, I don't know, over a year or so now. But I've got two of these that I'm going to use. And then I'm going to use these two little bunnies that's got the little black. It came with the green, uh, green check ribbon and I replaced it with the black and white. Uh, I thought it was cuter. It kind of went with my stuff more. So I'm going to use both of these. And then I've got two black candle holders, a small one and a big one, and I'm gonna use these. These came from Michael's, and the big one was $25. I got it whenever it was Halloween time and bought it in the Halloween stuff. And the, the small one was 20, and then they had them on sale. I don't remember how much they were, but that's where I got these from. And then last but not least, um, I think I got this at TJ, yeah, TJ Maxx, and it was $14.99. says, Happy Easter, y'all. I thought it was really cute. So I'm going to set it up there as well. Okay. So let me get the this positioned up here like this. Now, whenever I'm done, I will give you an up close because I know it's going to be kind of hard to see everything I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to start with the truck. Put that up there. Doesn't that look cute? The turquoise truck and that cross, it really gives it that splash of color that I was looking for. Um, I think I'm gonna put the rabbits over on the other end. Um, may set them up on the candle holders. I've got my, my rabbits. I'm going to set them up here on the candle holders. Ooh, how does that look? It looks pretty cute. That white against the black, it shows up. this in the middle 
And I found this little chair. I'm just using it. I'm gonna turn it upside down so I can prop this up to kind of elevate it. I think I've got it to stay. So next, I'm gonna use my two small candle holders and I'm gonna put them on both sides. And I'm gonna use my two wreaths and I'm gonna set them on top of each of those candle holders. But I'm gonna kinda of set them up like this instead of laying them down. I'm gonna set them up that way you can kinda of see them better. Kinda of like that. And then I'm gonna use my carrots and I'm gonna put them in front of each of these little wreaths. Okay, let's stand back and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna give you an up close, show it to you straightforward. I think it turned out pretty cute. Here, we'll walk closer so you can see. This is the garland. I haven't decided what I really want to do on the bottom yet. I've got these that I got last year from Marshalls. They were $14.99 and $19.99. And I think I want to set them over there in the corner like I did last year. Um, but I probably will dig and find something else. So whenever I do, you'll see it. Um, but I'm just going to set these over here. It's kind of like that, kind of like that, where it looks like a mama and baby bunny. Um, but for now, that's all I'm gonna do to it. I think it turned out really cute, but it's a good start to the Easter decorating. I've got tons more to do. Uh, I've got it all over my dining room table right now, and I've got stuff sitting over here under the bookshelf. I just got it everywhere. So whenever I had to leave yesterday, the whole house was like a tornado, but it, I had looked at the time and I'm like, oh, I gotta go. So I just took off. But um, that's all I have for you today. I've got some little bunnies that I'm gonna be sitting. I've set them here, but I kinda need to figure out how I want to decorate it. 
Um, if you remember my little bunnies, he came from TJ Maxx, I believe, last year. He looks like a grandpa bunny. Isn't he cute? But I've got him, and then I've got this little one that's laying down. I got this one last year at Pier 1 with a flower sticking out of his mouth and a butterfly on his hat, but he's just adorable. And then I've got a little baby. I don't know if this is a, I think it's a pig. It looks like a pig because of its nose. But I've got this one, and I'm gonna put it right here on this coffee table where the wheelbarrow is. But I've got to do some thinking and figure out what I'm gonna do. I'd like to find a couple of more of these little hay or straw uh, rabbits, but I haven't had a chance to run to town to look. But I'd like to have me a whole little family going on right here. I think it would be so cute. Uh, but that's what I'm gonna do right here, and that's probably what we'll do next week. Maybe I can run to town this weekend and see if I can find me a couple more of these little rabbits, but if I can't, I'll work with what I've got. Uh, but I've got some really cute ideas going on uh, with this. I've been kind of playing with it, and um, but I need to get me some hay and all that good stuff to kind of build all this up. So we probably will do this next week and uh, I don't know, probably a couple of vignettes, but um, I need to wrap this up so I can get to editing and have this ready for y'all Friday. So y'all have a great weekend and I will see y'all next week. Bye-bye.